Guys, this is Mr. Josh EJ, and this is your Sprint Race Austrian Grand Prix Formula One review. Max Verstappen wins the Sprint Grand Prix ahead of Charles Leclerc and Carlos Sainz. Absolutely dominated that Sprint Race. Race rating from the Sprint Race, 2 out of 10. Piss poor, terrible Grand Prix. That really was a poor sprint race they're pointless why the fuck are we having sprint races or i mean the current format works you know fp1 fp2 fp3 q1 q2 q3 and the race these sprint races are pointless they're just a waste of time and apparently there's going to be six next season oh and that's a joke man may as well put them in the bin i say honestly shocking they really are but yeah dominated max the staff in the swim race and it won't surprise me if he dominates the main grand prix either the two ferraris were fighting for position which i was not happy about that because in the sprint race you should be working together that was poor by my team that really was ah oh, goodness sake ferrari seriously sort yourselves out Please. Ah, oh. but P2, P3, good points. That no way they should have been squabbling for position because Max Verstappen absolutely ran away from that race. P8, Lewis Hamilton, not good enough. I mean, he was stuck behind to make Schumacher for most of the race. And, but Perez started P13 after getting penalised and having all his lap times deleted so he had to start p13 and he got up to p5 finished just behind george russell george russell in no man's land both of the ferraris left him standing but russell did finish ahead of perez mick schumacher and Kevin magnus and they were working together that's what the two ferraris should have been done trying to help each other out but they didn't for some reason i don't know why but yeah not that great from ferrari that good points that really shouldn't be battling like that in the swim race in my opinion you should be working as a team to try and hunt down max instead of letting him get out of sight oh pierre gasly now this is shocking by pierre gasly I mean, my goodness me, he literally went into Lewis Hamilton, Hamilton had nowhere to go, and then Hamilton made contact with Gasly, so Hamilton lost about three positions at the start, but did get, oh, excuse me, up to P8 and scored one point in the sprint race, but that wasn't good enough, I'm sorry, you need to be higher up than that. A Mercedes should have absolutely breezed past that has it really should have but yeah that was poor by Lewis Hamilton one for one Yuki Sonoda P17 poor terrible that for one for one it really is like I said though George Russell fourth very happy with that but these sprint races are an absolute waste of time they need to get in the bin they're not needed they work in F2 and F3, but F1, just leave her alone, man, for fuck's sakes. Comment your thoughts down below. I will always reply. And yeah, 23 laps over in a flash. Well, originally, there was going to be 24 laps, but Guan Yu Zhu's Alfa Romeo shut down, but he got it restarted, so... Obviously, after that, he had to start from the pit lane. Fernando Alonso, unfortunately, didn't even start the sprint race because his tyre blankets were left on for some reason. That was bizarre by Alpine. That really was, but that was gutting for Fernando Alonso. But he is or is. Hopefully, he can have a better Grand Prix. Join me tomorrow for the race with you and the Austrian Grand Prix. And then Monday for driver ratings and team ratings. Yep, Max dominates. No surprise, he's a specialist in his circuit. But my team did not help themselves. Bye-bye.